The uh, Dragon spacecraft launching soon to the International Space Station is carrying supplies for the crew and a number of science experiments. Among them is uh, new hardware for new research that's focusing on crystallization of the cystic fibrosis protein, which could uh, help researchers develop better drugs to treat the disease. Joining us now, we have principal investigator Dr. Stephen Aller of the Advancing Membrane Protein Crystallization by Using Microgravity Experiment. So, very briefly, can you just describe for us what causes cystic fibrosis and also how it is treated? Cystic fibrosis is um, a, a point mutation in a protein in 90% of the patients in which the protein is misfolded and none of it gets to the cell surface where it's required to function. Its normal function is a chloride channel and allows plenty of water to, uh, uh, to, to flow and uh, lubricate the lungs. And without this protein called CFTR, uh, people develop very sticky mucous lungs uh, and that results in infection. And so we're uh, trying to study the three-dimensional structure of this protein in order to understand how it works and how to correct the defects. So why the focus on crystallizing the uh, proteins for such treatment? So a lot of drug screens that companies do are basically brute force and looking for an effect. And they don't emphasize the mechanism by which drugs work. And one of the important ways to learn by which drugs work is to see the, the, the three-dimensional shape of the targets that the drugs bind to. And we don't have any idea about the, the, the atomic structure of this cystic fibrosis protein. We have one structure of very close relative of it, um, but right now we don't have any idea what the protein looks like, particularly in the region where it is misfolded. So if we could determine the shape of that to in atomic detail, we can learn how to better correct the defect uh, much more specifically and potent, uh, potently to get better drugs. So can you explain to me also, how is this um, experiment going to be working on orbit? Okay, so the, the general idea that we're testing is similar to uh, other projects which are going up, is that in space, when you don't have uh, gravity, we don't have any convection forces. These are like forces of wind which are in, in the fluids. And they're actually very strong forces that are banging around all the molecules. That happens here on the ground. And it makes it really challenging for protein crystals to form. If you put a crystallization experiment in space with specialized hardware, you remove this convection force. And it gives the protein crystals much more time to form really, really perfect lattices. And for difficult proteins like the cystic fibrosis protein and two other relatives that we're studying, um, they don't f form very well-ordered crystals on the ground. And we're exploring the hypothesis that this microgravity will allow much, much more perfect crystals to form and give us a lot more detailed information about the proteins. So growing these crystals in space is better than on the ground, and so we're going to be able to take advantage of that microgravity environment and um, aboard the International Space Station to uh, conduct this experiment. That's very good. Can you also tell me how long is it going to take to um, grow these crystals, and when do they come home? Uh, mission is scheduled to come back in July, okay, so that's several months, and we need that extra time uh, because the process is much slower. Um, so up until, you know, we had the space shuttle program, which was limited to a very short duration, a lot of this wasn't possible. Uh, but because we have the resources on the space station, it's up there for many, many months, we now have capabilities to allow experiments to go for much longer uh, and hopefully capture crystallization processes which are, which are much slower uh, to happen. Can you tell me also what will become of these crystals during this flight once they are returned? Well, hopefully, when they are, when they're, they'll be returned in specialized hardware and, and recovered, uh, they splash down in the ocean and recovered by a special team. Uh, they're flown in a, uh, a, um, a jet uh, that, that uh, handles them very carefully. And then my group will, one by one, examine the crystals that are in them and protect them from uh, a process called cryoprotection to protect them from damage during freezing. And then we will ship them to U.S. synchrotrons for data collection. And synchrotrons are very critical for our proteins because they offer us very high intensity X-ray beam uh, and much better data quality than what is possible with a, a lower intensity home source. So we will collect the data from the crystals and in some cases compare them to earth-grown crystals uh, in one case where we have enough protein to do that. And we will know 
with high confidence just the effects of microgravity on these specific proteins. Best of luck to you and thanks again for coming and talking with us today. Thank you. Thank you.